What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back with another video. Now you guys, I had did not post Thursday. Let me let me explain, let me explain. So this is what happened. Um I have been extremely busy and I did not post and it, it wasn't yeah, I didn't feel like it. But I just really wanted to take a break, not just a mental health break. I just felt like I just needed a break from um, all the social media stuff that was going on. And um, I just wanted to take some time and spend some time with my daughter. I was busy that day with her and we just had a lot of stuff going on at home. Um, we went shopping. We did a couple gro uh, grocery shopping. We did, a, you know, just normal human things. Uh, I took her uh, shopping for her clothes because usually that's what happens around this time we go to like shop for clothes for her and shoes and things that she wants anyways um i'm happy to be back i cannot wait to continue to do more videos with you guys today we're going to uh, talk about how to stay positive uh, not just stay positive but like how to continue doing social media through all these through all this like hate that's going on and people are so comfortable with being online bullies you know like they're insecure within themselves they project how they feel about themselves and the only thing they have better to do is to make other people feel like poop and honestly that's just what it is is when people comment negative things about you or hateful things about you that's how they feel about themselves and that's how I view it all because if I really try to take those things personal I would not be mentally okay and I would have con I would have stopped social media a long time ago if I really let the hateful comments get to me it would have taken over me and my emotions and everything about me and I would have quit a long time ago but that's the whole point is that these people who comment hateful things usually don't ever post themselves. Um, and if they do, it's it's a brand new page. Um, they rarely post themselves. They'll post things about other people or or pointing at something else. You get what I'm saying? They're, they can't even show their own face. They can't even show themselves because they're insecure within themselves. They already critique. You got to understand, if they're hateful to you, what do they say about themselves? You know, we are our biggest enemy. We're our biggest hater, which is so funny because um, I have told myself most of the things that um, people have said to me because they have projected that type of scenario upon me. So it doesn't really bother me when people say mean things or hurtful things because I've heard it all. I've heard every single word. I've heard every single phrase. Um, so I just stopped taking everything so personal. Um, I read this book called The Four Agreements. And in The Four Agreements, it talks about how, like, don't take things personal. Most people project how they feel about themselves. You know, if if something is being said that's hurtful, more so it has to do with them. And most of the time, it is ha it is them that they're talking to. When they're like, oh, you're ugly, most of the time they're talking about themselves. That's how they feel about themselves. They can't send, they cannot say something nice to somebody because they always say something mean to themselves. That's why you see the most confident people usually talk good to other people. Like, you're beautiful, you're enough, you're worthy. Because that's how we feel about ourselves. Why do you think I constantly compliment on other women and I always love to boost confidence because that's how i feel about myself why would i want somebody else to feel bad about themselves if i feel good there's no reason to hate on anybody when you're feeling good inside there's no reason i have no hate in my heart so i have no reason to burst out that negativity so that's something that i wanted to talk about because there is a lot of my followers who who struggle with being insecure and and loving themselves and you got to understand that usually stems from people projecting upon you, but you you are worthy, you are enough. And if you have not told yourself that yet, please do so. Um, that's why I love to get into affirmations and, um, and talking positive to yourself. How you speak to yourself is very important. How you talk to yourself on a daily basis, even looking in the mirror and gazing at yourself and talking like, I am beautiful, I am enough. Because the way you talk to yourself is how you're gonna talk to other people. So that's why, I'm, that's why I don't take things personally. Because I talk good about myself. 
Me and myself have a great bond. So why do I care what anybody else thinks? Now there is times where it does get to me because sometimes those negative people and those naysayers, eventually it does get to you, but you learn to just brush it off. Eventually you sit with it and you're like, mm. they're just projecting about themselves and how they feel about themselves. And you gotta sit with yourself. You gotta step away from your phone, sit and be like, Am I really like this or are they feeling like this? And they're projecting their own insecurities onto me. And the whole time, the truth is going to come back to they are projecting how they feel about themselves to you. That is all I wanted to get to today, you guys. I cannot wait to post again Thursday and Sunday. Okay, so I just started this new job. So my videos are probably, I'm probably going to change up my my not my Thursdays because it's probably going to be a little bit booked. So I'm probably going to start uploading Fridays and Sundays, but we will see. Um, depending on my work schedule, I will be posting Thursdays and Sundays still until I start my job. And then I'll let you guys know that I'm going to be posting probably Friday and Sunday. Um, but most I'm still going to be posting twice a week. Um, and we are almost at six, not 6,000 followers, 6,000 followers, probably. Yeah, we've been gaining so many followers and our watch time is up and I am so happy and I am so like thankful for you guys. So thank you for the love and support that you've been giving me. It may not be huge or like this crazy amount, but it's something and I appreciate it and I'm grateful for it. So thank you. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.